are new here, well hi, how are you? My name is Georgia and every single Friday I bring to you a brand new vintage-ish video. On my channel you can find vintage-ish fashion, rifted and pin-up style, tips and tricks on how to start your own vintage-ish journey and a whole lot of chit chat. Today, we are talking about fashion, hun. I take you down a Pinterest rabbit hole, showing you how you can style everyday outfits with a vintage-ish twist. If you love all things vintage and are wondering where to begin, well, my friends, I highly recommend you hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, and you'll never miss another video. Well, hello, everybody. Another Friday in 2021. If you are like me and you're based in the UK, well, you'll be in lockdown again again again. I'm sure my face tells you exactly how I feel about being in lockdown for the third time but yeah great. I wish I could say it's a case of nowhere to go, nobody to see, nothing to do. However I am homeschooling my four-year-old and trying to run a business so if you would like to send me gin or matching socks because I, I can't find them at the moment, either of those would be much appreciated. Send help, send help, send help, send help, send help. Sometimes when the world is going downhill, we simply need a bit of escapism. I mean, escaping from my own child to have five minutes peace on the loo on my own would be great right about now. But I'm not actually talking about that kind of escapism. No, I'm talking about escaping into the world of fashion. As I have previously mentioned in another video, I am a huge, huge fan of Pinterest. It's one of my favorite social media channels. There is just so much inspiration over there. The other week, I was browsing for some outfit inspo and I just thought to myself there's so many outfits like flat lays and things like that out there that are like trend led from the high street they're just commercial kind of fashion looks I guess. Now I did see a small selection of vintage inspiration but these were mainly from brands they weren't just kind of like the normal person like you or I that would just put outfits together for fun. I don't know does anyone else do that? Is that a thing? So I used to be addicted to Polyvore when it first came out and I think it ceased to exist now or it doesn't exist on the internet as far as I can find um, and I would just love putting outfits together like flat lays and dragging a dress here, putting some shoes and a little handbag and a matching belt or something and retroing it up just a little bit and yeah. So I thought to myself, I'm gonna pick three Pinterest outfits and try and show you how you could style them with your own kind of vintage-ish or retro pin-up twist. Okay, so the first outfit is going on screen. Now I have pieces in my wardrobe quite similar to that look but I've just gone for a retro twist, okay? First of all, now I know in the picture they are like a high-waisted um, flared trouser or swing trouser, but I have the shorter version. <laughs> These clots are from Topshop and I got them in the sale. I think they're about eight quid, something like that. Super comfortable to wear. The only thing I would say, I'm, I'm just gonna say it how it is, they click really easily. There's a few kind of runs and clicks in the fabric. As long as I stay away from sharp objects, it's generally fine. Now, I know that they've paired it with like a cute little cute vest. I just can't do those kinds of straps. They're not for me. So, I just paired it with a simple slash neck, um, a t-shirt that I got from Primark a long time ago. It's seen better days to be fair. I'm just popping the picture up on the screen again so you can be reminded um, before we move on to the shoes. So here we have a pair of loafers, nothing kind of revolutionary, a little bit safe in my opinion. I don't like this type of shoe. I don't really wear this type of shoe unless it's more of a saddle shoe. Now I have my favorite trusty geek shoes. These are <laughs> so worse for wear, but literally I have just done some steps in these. Um, I love them. I got them on Amazon. I think they were like £15 or something. I've worn them for years. Um, I really like to wear them with a comfortable trouser. They're just a really comfy flat shoe. And I tend to get them in like a neutral colour so they'll go with everything. I think this outfit is a little bit plain for these shoes. But I'm just going to go with it. I am going to be a little bit cheeky and pair this outfit with this absolutely stunning 60s vintage coat slash jacket. The label says Dax and it is made in Great Britain. It's wool, it's lined, it's got a little belt on the back. It's so classy. Um, obviously I wouldn't wear this around the house because it's super warm but if I was just popping out 
that's not a thing, but if I was going for essential shopping like milk or bread, then obviously I could just pop this over the trousers and the tee. And I think it would really just jazz up the outfit for me personally because it's a pattern and I think there's way too much playing in there. <laughs> nosy on Pinterest and wonder if people actually wear these outfits in real life. Well, if you try any of these, leave me a comment below or even if you see any great outfit ideas, you can come and follow me at georgiaharrop.com on Pinterest and please share your boards because I, I just love stuff like this. Okay, number two and I actually saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, I have that dress or one very similar to it, so I could definitely do this look. The dress I am talking about is this one. I know obviously it's got a collar, but it's a little polka dot number. It was kindly sent to me by Cupcake Couture Vintage, which I will link in the description box below. Um, it's original vintage and I just, I love it. Guessing that it's around the 1980s era, I probably would have never actually looked at it or gone for it. However, this was sent to me as part of like a mystery shopper kind of package. Basically, I gave Cupcake Couture my size, colours and patterns and things that I liked, and she sent me a bundle of magic. Literally, everything that she picked for me, I was like, it was just spot on. So definitely check their collection out because they have some beautiful pieces in. Obviously on the Pinterest outfit, it's navy and black. I don't like wearing black and navy together as a rule. I feel like a bruise. Is it just me? <laughs> I don't know, but those colors, for some reason, I just can't get them in my head that they look great as an outfit. And I saw it and I was like, these colors go against every fiber of my being. Like, I know that's dramatic, but I'm dramatic, so fine. I think last time I wore this was like with cerise pink tights. I'll try and dig a picture out and put it on the screen. But I generally love to just pop a bit of color with it. I've gone for black tights and black accessories and just black, black everything, black everything. <laughs> I saw this outfit on Pinterest and it was described as soft styling. I did not even know this was a thing. Now, admittedly, I am probably the furthest you can ever get from soft styling, being that I like bright colors and patterns and everything, but I didn't know like soft styling was actually a type of styling out there. Now, I'm just gonna pop this outfit up on the screen. You can see it's kind of got a little bit of a vintage twist anyway. I have gone for the softest wrap blouse. <laughs> This one is from Rock and Romance. I have paired it with a full circle skirt, which is also from Rock and Romance. Kind of felt it was a little bit plain. Again, it's just block colors, and I always like to throw in a pattern. So I have gone with a vintage scarf, and I've just got like a little belt buckle here that I've kind of tied the vintage scarf with. Of course, I could have gone for a tan heel, but I am all about the comfortable life at the moment. So I went for a gold flat. This pair was very kindly sent to me by Charlie Stone Shoes a while ago now. I think it was like a year or two ago. Um, they are my old faithful flats. I love them. They're super comfortable and I really feel like this color, again, it's a metallic, so it's a neutral for me, right? But it just goes with everything and I wear them to death. I really feel like it just gives a softer kind of look to the styling. It's probably kind of what I would wear around the house. I know obviously I've got bare legs and no tights and it's January and freezing, but I'm in the house, it's warm, I'm working from home or something, I've got Zoom meetings. Obviously it's okay, because no one's going anywhere, we're all in lockdown, so it's a perfect outfit if you're just staying at home, right? <laughs>
noticed, but I am actually wearing my pajamas throughout this whole video. Um, this fantastic outfit was actually sent to me from Seamstress of Bloomsbury. It is the brand new 1940s pajamas that they have in powder blue. It's the most comfortable thing. Like, it's just so gorgeous. I cannot believe how comfortable it is and I just love it. I feel like so glamorous. I feel like I need a cosmopolitan in one hand and a magazine and I need to just forget about homeschooling, forget we're in lockdown and stay in my bubble and yeah. It's just giving me all the 1940s Hollywood glamour vibes right now. If you want to see more of the outfit, I've popped some pictures and a review on my blog. I'll pop the link on the screen somewhere and also in the description box so you can check it out. What do you think about those outfits, guys? Do you have anything in your wardrobe that is similar to the outfits that I've shown you? Do you feel inspired? That is why I'm here, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching today. I really appreciate you being here. And also just thanks for spending a bit of your day with me. It's just so lovely. Hugest of thank yous to everybody who likes my videos, leaves me a comment, recommends or shares or subscribes. Honestly, it just means the world, so mwah. Now, as promised, if you want to join me over on Pinterest, I will pop the link in the description box below. I feel like I've said that a lot, so the description box is probably gonna be a mile long today. Sorry, guys. Don't don't forget to like, subscribe, and share!